Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the MLLSE 2060 Super that I purchased from AliExpress. Now I've done a bit of um, digging in the um, vBIOS and I found that the um, vBIOS that's been set up on the power limit, they've put the target and also the limit the same. So when you go on MSI after burnout, you can't add extra um, power limit because it's already at the top. Normally it should be 174 watts. So it's already maxed out. And then if you look at the temperatures, the rated is 83 and the max is 88. So that's why people see 83 straight away. But I think that's fine. If you get 83, that's fine. I mean, my card goes to about 76 max by unvolted, undervolted it now. So I get better performance. So now we are looking at MSI RTX 2060 Super, which is another vBIOS. I want to do a comparison. So as you can see, the target is 175 watts and the limit is 185 watts. So that gives you that 6% to play around with in the MSI afterburner. Now, um, those temperatures look pretty high, but to be honest, what you can do is I'll, I'll recommend doing a uh, paste change and also changing the pads to lower those temperatures and also undervolting. So right now I'm getting about 100, so about 73 max at the moment, but I haven't done the paste change yet, so I need to do that next. So here is the MSI afterburner, and as you can see, the power limit goes to 100% max. It's because, like I said before, the wattage is set to 185, the target, and also the limit. And you can also, you know, change the, if you want more power, update the core clock, memory clock, etc. But um, in my next video, I'll probably show you how my settings for undervolting. Um, I just had to play around with it just to see how it's getting on. And I will also recommend you change your fan curve because the stock one might not be great for your card. Every card is different. Some some are good, some are bad. Um, depends on the you know the silicon bin. And then what I do next is show you the sensors. Um, so all of this stuff is all working and I keep an eye on all of those numbers just to make sure the card is fine. And what I found out was there's a missing um, sensor that we don't have, which is the memory temperature. I'm not sure why it's there. Maybe 2060 Supers don't have it, but it would have been nice to see that because sometimes I've seen some other cards, it gets quite high and people do some mods on the... Um, where they instead of using thermal pads they use um, copper shills it's copper, sh copper, copper shims sorry and that get, gets those temperatures uh, a lot lower so here I'm just showing you that the sensors are working fine you can change the fan speed and that updates into the um, GPU C um, uh, application and all of that's working fine so that's kind of great tool to use to monitor your um, your your figures etc so here I'm playing Days Gone on the very highest settings at 1080p and I averaged around 122 FPS and that's using a Ryzen 5 3600. I've ordered a 5700X because I don't think my CPU is strong enough anymore so I'm hoping my frames will go up, especially playing at 1080p. But as you can see, it's it's working fine. Um, the frame rate is pretty high pretty high you can see the temperatures at the moment is hitting about 76 max so this is before i done the um, undervolting so I want to do a comparison in my next video to see if that's helped and as you can see the GPU load is around 98% falls down to about 94% but you can see the wattage as well about 179 watts max 180 hit um, the memory it's using is about 5600 obviously this is an 8 gig card so still a bit of room there cpu temperatures a bit high it's about 57 uh, degrees and the cpu power around so around 60 max or so 60 percent max um and yeah fcs is pretty good so yeah this is just a gameplay on this day's gone just to see how it plays and it's a pretty decent card i'm impressed with that for the price very good price Price performance very good. I'm looking to upgrade to a 6700 XT next, possibly get that from AliExpress, and um, because I've heard it's a very good card uh, for the price, and also you can enable SAM, which is Smart Access Memory, to get more um, frames. So that's my next card that I want to get, and what I've done is on my next uh, video that you see, I've also up 
updated the um, BIOS on my uh, motherboard and also updated the drivers. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.